Hello, welcome. My name is SlugMTG, and today I have another hyper budget popper deck tech, this time featuring store brand Blue Black Delver. So, Blue Black Delver is a deck that is all about landing threats and then protecting them as you swing in for the win. When I first tried to make this deck, I stuck to Mono Blue, but with the banning of Mystic Sanctuary, I found Mono Blue to not be that consistent anymore and to run out of cards in the late game it didn't feel quite good so i swapped over to blue black and i like the deck a lot better now and in order to make it budget i did have to make a few cuts the first cut is to the cantrips of choice generally you want preordain or ponder unfortunately that's a little out of the price range so instead i threw in the ops and thought scours which we'll get into what they do specifically later the other major budget cut that I made was to the land base. Typically, Blue Black Delver runs Snowlands, and I don't really know why. As far as I can tell, I think it's to bluff the blue-red spread until the swamps come out. But as far as specific cards, I didn't see any. So I changed the Snowlands to just regular basics. And then the other big cut was Snuff Out. So Snuff Out currently is like 24 ticks online. So cutting the Snuff Outs, uh, it reduces the, the price quite a bit. And that's 24 for the playset, not individually. But that's okay because the deck still works and you can definitely still net some wins and then obviously the point of this series if you like the deck and you want to invest more into it then you can build up towards the more expensive cards but to talk about the specific cards that i put into the deck then let's go ahead and take a look on magic online so first of all we are running 20 lands we are running four evolving wilds and three terramorphic expanses this is so that we can guarantee to hit the swamps as we are running only two swamps and the reason for that is we have a lot of cantrips and spells that cost a single blue mana so we want to be able to hit those on turn one and including a bunch of evolving wilds and terramorphic expanses just ensures that we can grab those swamps out of our deck when we need to but still retain a very high island count for a majority of our spells and being able to grab lands out of our decks reduces the odds of us drawing into more lands so that's always a good thing the threats that we will be attempting to put down on the battlefield obviously the namesake card delver of secrets is here one mana one one and at the beginning of our upkeep we can look at the top card of our library if it's an instant or sorcery we reveal it and it flips over to be a three two flyer really good three two flyer for one mana and then the second threat is of course the Gurmag Anglers. A 5-5 five five for a single black mana is a rate that you really cannot beat and Gurmag is one of the best finishers in the format. So our protection package, we start off with a few mana leaks and of course counter spells. Just a couple of good counter magic. Prohibit is also an option if you like that over mana leak. I personally prefer mana leak but it really comes down to personal preference and then we also have soul manipulation it does two things for us it grabs a creature back from the graveyard if we need that or counters a creature spell so it's kind of dual purpose good utility and then we are running three doom blades as creature removal it's our replacement to snuff out and it's still a good replacement we are running two echoing decays great against token decks and two suffocating fumes the reason we're running this main board is that if we don't need it we can then just cycle it away so at worst case scenario we just cycle it away and we draw a card that hopefully we can actually use and best case scenario we just completely wipe the field of elves or something so suffocating fumes is a very good card and because it is at instant speed and affects only our opponents it can be a nice little combat trick as well as far as card advantage goes we are running for ops which is just a single blue mana, scry one, draw a card. Not quite as good as Preordain or Ponder, but it gets the job done, and this can be cast at instant speed. So it does have its own upsides and is a suitable replacement. Then we are running four Thought Scours as well. We will almost always be targeting ourselves to mill two cards and to draw a card. This lets us get our Gurmag Anglers out that much faster, and if we mill any important creatures away, we can grab them back with Soul Manipulation. We are running four Augur of Volas. These guys are great. Look at the top three. Grab an instant or sorcery and put the rest on the bottom. 
and because we are running so many instant or sorcery spells we are likely to hit multiple of them and then we can just choose the best one that we want and the one three body makes it so that auger boss is actually a very good blocker and then we are running four hieroglyphic illuminations i've been trying out this card i actually really do like it so in the beginning of the game when we don't have four mana to spend on this we can just cycle it away to draw a single card and then later on in the game when we have that mana available and our opponent doesn't cast anything that we want to counter then we can cast it for its full cost to draw two cards so that is the main board and then moving on to the sideboard we have two annuls against artifact or enchantments based deck so affinity boggles annul is good three dispels against any control decks two excludes against creature based strategies three stormbound geist against either fairies or stormbound geist is also really good against mono black control as the undying trigger means that we can eat up edict effects no problem three soul reaps in case we're up against a black deck or just more creature based strategies as Doomblade doesn't hit black creatures. So we're up against a black deck. We swap out the Doomblades for the Soul Reaps and then two Nihil spell bombs for Graveyard Hate. So that is the deck overall. And let's go ahead and hop into some games. All right. So into the first game, we won the die roll. We would like to play first. And there's one land, and it's an Evolving Wilds. I don't think we can keep that. Wait, it's one land again, and it's still an Evolving Wilds. Okay, our opponent also mulls to six, so I think we can get away with mulling this. This is better. This is a lot better. Uh, I think I will go ahead and bottom the Gurmag and the Illumination. I have the Opt and I have Agra Bolas to grab something. So yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and bottom the Gurmag and the Illumination. And let's lead off with everyone's favorite, Turn 1 Delver. So we pass to them. So Black. Uh, what card do we reveal it? Another Delver. Uh, let's not reveal that. So let's play an island and I think we will play the second Delver. Probably should have done it after combat, but oh well. And we will go ahead, pass the turn. We will opt on their end step. We'll pretend we have like a dispel or something. So blue black. Let's go ahead and cast that opt and a thought scour. That is tempting to take, but I think I need to go ahead and dig for land. Okay, there's Terramorphic Expanse. We're good. And what card do we reveal? An island, so no. Definitely not interested in an island, although I will swing in with both the Delvers, and I will go ahead and play the Augur of Bolas to hopefully find a nice spell. Uh, I guess Counterspell will have to do, put them back in any order, and I might as well just crack this now. Let's grab a Swamp, pass the turn. And they play Merfolk Mesmerist. What is this? Is this a blue-black mill deck? So it looks like we get Doomblade. So yes, I will reveal that. And yeah, so both of our Delvers flip, which is great. And we have Counterspell and Doomblade. So feeling pretty good right now. Let's just swing in with these two, deal six damage, and pass the turn. The Mesmerist is definitely not worth the Doomblade right now. I mean, this has to be mill, right? So they just pass through their turn. Even if it is mill, I'm not sure why they're playing Merfolk Mesmerist. Maybe this is just some sort of opponent mid-range graveyard type of deck. Oh, okay. All right, well, I guess we win. Um, I was expecting some type of creature mid-range based on the opponent's graveyard. So things of White of Precinct 6 and Jace's Phantasm. But yeah, I guess uh, we win that one. So hopefully this will be our first real match and we lose the dice roll although to start things off we have a terramorphic expanse two islands doom blade suffocating fumes i think i will keep this it's going to be a little while before we can cast the gurmag but hopefully they won't be too aggressive i see an ancient den, den and a thraven inspector i think this I think this is the Azorius metalcraft list so it comes back to us and we have a swamp so since we have that i think i'll go ahead and play an island and then i will cycle the illumination at their end step so they swing in for one so no this might just be boros bully then and then at their end step we will go ahead and cycle we draw another land okay we don't need any more so hopefully we won't draw any more 
Let's go ahead and play a Swamp. I will hold open the Doom Blade. I do want to play Delver, but I don't think that's the best decision right now. I'll do it next turn. So they gain two life. They swing in. We take the one. And another Prophetic Prism. So they're drawing a few cards. And then since this is Boros Bully, what do they normally play? I don't think Suffocating Fumes is going to be that good. So I think I will just cycle it away. Uh, so we draw a counter spell. So we have a handful of answers. It's just going to be a while before we can start casting a lot of things. I think I'll go ahead and play the Delver. If they have a Galvanic Blast, it means that we'll reach our Gromag sooner. And I will go ahead and pass turn, hold up the Doom Blade. So Galvanic, nope, Lightning Bolt. So Delver goes away. And what do they do? They swing in for one. Out comes a Glintock. They return the Prophetic Prism, they play a Radiant Fountain, and replay the Prism. With a single red mana available, it means they probably have a Galvanic Blast or a Bolt. They pass it, and I think Glinthawk is worth the Doom Blade. So it comes back to us, we get an Augur of Bolas. So let's go ahead and play the Terramorphic Expanse, and I think that's all I really want to do next turn. For next turn, I'll be able to cast the uh, Gurmag Angler with Counterspell support, and I think I want to go ahead and do that. So they pass to their attacker step. If they try to cast a creature, I will counter it with Soul Manipulation. Okay, maybe something other than a Thraben Inspector. Countering a Thraben Inspector feels pretty bad. They gain a life. Oh, I forgot to. No, oh, I forgot to crack the Terramorphic. Oh, why am I so bad at this game? That's fine. Hopefully it won't make that much of a difference in the long run. I still do have Counterspell support, so I guess it's not that bad. Let's go ahead and cast our Gurmag. So out comes the big fish, and let's pass the turn. What are they going to do about that? Crack a clue, and then at their end step, I can cycle the Illumination if need be. I might want to hold on to it, though. Poor Sky Fisher. Yeah, that's fine. They bounce the Prism. Out comes the Prism. So they are digging for an answer to this Gurmag, and I don't think I want to swing in just yet. I don't have a good board control state, or I, I, I guess I don't. I'm not controlling the board right now. Uh, so I will go ahead and play the Augur of Bolas, and what do I hit? I think I like the Echoing Decay. Gets rid of both the Thraben Inspectors. Yeah, I'll take the Echoing Decay, put the rest any order. I think I'll go ahead... Pass turn, I don't want to swing in right now. I don't have board control, but just in case they do something with the Thraven Inspectors, I want to instant speed, remove them. Can't block a core Sky Fisher. Two damage. Guardian of the Guild Pact. That goes through all of my removal and creatures, so I think I am forced to counter that. Let's mana leak. And they might have Red Elemental Blast main board, maybe? Nope. Okay, good. And uh, maybe I should have tapped differently for that. I apologize about my several small misplays. Apparently, I am not playing. Like, apparently, I'm not on top of things today. I could. I think I will Echoing Decay right now. Get rid of their two blockers. Start swinging in. Let's swing in for six. And we will pass the turn. We have a counter spell, a soul manipulation in case they try to do anything. And then at their end step, if they don't do anything, we have an illumination and thought scour. They are swinging in. That is surprising. We win this race right now, so they have to have some type of interaction. Nope, apparently not. So let's cycle illumination and thought scour ourselves. And we have another thought scour. So let's play the island. I think we'll swing in and then attempt another Gurmag. That seems pretty good. What are they doing? Prismatic strands. Do I care about that? I don't think I do. So I think that's fine. Yeah, obviously they choose black. And so I will still get in for one damage here. And then I have another Gurmag. And now I have both soul manipulation and counter spell up. And I'm assuming they're not going one swing with their core sky fisher. As they probably want the Prismatic Strands flashback, and I will counter whatever creature they try to put down. I might even counter a Thraben Inspector at this point, although probably not. It's not that important. They do swing in, though, so they have something else. Journey to Nowhere. Yeah, I don't like that. So we will counter the Journey to Nowhere. End step, I will Thought Scour myself. We get an Echoing Decay. That's, that's pretty good. 
we get a Terramorphic Expanse. So we'll go ahead, play that. And unless they have another Prismatic Strands, and they do have another one. They choose black again. They only take one. And I think we'll just pass turn. So they are lightning. They're going right for my face. So do they have enough direct burn to outright kill me is the question. There's the journey to nowhere. I cannot do anything about that this time around. Take one of the Gurmag, sure. Bajuka Bog, that's fine. So Core Sky Fisher will bring me down to six. I think I will go ahead and Echoing Decay because if they have two, well, no, I think that's fine. If they, if the last two cards in their, in their hand are two Lightning Bolts, then I think they've just got me anyway. I don't think it's worth burning the Echoing Decay for that because for them to have it, it would be pretty incredible. Cycling the Suffocating Fumes and okay, this time, this time I, I will remember. Grab the island and pass it to us. So we have an opt. Let's fire off the opt right now. Delver, it's tempting, but I don't think that's what I need. I need a removal spell. That's not a removal spell. Yikes. Okay, so let's go ahead and swing. We can Echoing Decay the Core Sky Fisher this turn to deal us zero damage. And let's just tap the Evolving Wilds now so I don't forget. There's no point in holding on to it. If they try to play a creature, we'll counter it. This time around, I will Echoing Decay. So no damage, buys us another turn, and we will counter that second core sky fisher. And we need a removal spell. Do they have it? Okay, so they, they're very close to having it. They can draw a number of cards. Did they get it? Nope, not yet. So we need to get quite lucky. Delver. That's not going to do it. Uh, how far away were we? Oh, no, nope, draw. In an island. Okay, whatever. So between the Core Sky Fishers and Glint Hawks, I think the Stormbound Geists are pretty good here. I'm definitely going to want to bring in the Dispels because the Red Elemental Blasts are definitely coming. So I will cut the Mana Leaks for that to bring in the Dispels. And then, yeah, there's so much I want to bring in, but not a lot I want to take out. I didn't see any Squadron Hawks, so hopefully I won't get burned too bad for taking out the Suffocating Fumes. And I'm bringing in the Stormbound Geists anyway. And then I think I will take out one Thought Scour to bring in a Soul Reap for just one more removal spell. And I think that'll be good. I would like to play first, yes. And we have Dispel, Echoing Decay, Gurmag, a bunch of fetch lands. I think I have to keep this. This is going to let us thin out the deck a lot. Let's just sack it for a swamp now. They, they know what we're playing. We're not trying to hide anything. And what do they do? Windscarred Crag. And we get an Illumination, so that's not bad. Let's go ahead and crack another one while we can. And we'll just, we'll crack it on their turn to be all nice and competitive. Out comes a Prism, and we'll sack that probably for blue this time around. Out comes an Opt. I am tempted to play the Island to bluff a Counterspell and then cycle the Illumination and Opt at the end of turn. I think that's our most efficient play. So, and it helps fill up our graveyard a bit more to get the Gurmag down early. Another Prism. So let's go ahead, cast Opt, Soul Manipulation. What am I looking for right now? What do I want? I think I want direct counter spells, and there's just a little too much going on for a Soul Manipulation right now. And I think I'll uh, Thought Scour myself, and I get a Dispel, so that's not bad. And they have to discard a card, they discard a Golden Egg. So I can play the Gurmag with a direct counterspell as support. I think I will go ahead and do that. Grab a Swamp, and then I will cast the Gurmag. Pass turn. If they try to journey or anything, no, nope, looks like they are just passing through. So let's go ahead and cycle the Illumination. We get an Augur Bolas, not bad. And an Island, perfect. Let's play the Island and send over the Gurmag. And I will go ahead and play the auger, bring something else into my hand. Uh, never mind, I will not bring anything into my hand. Uh, they will all go on the bottom. And let's go ahead, pass turn. And there is a guardian. I don't like that. So I will, they have, they have red available for the red elemental blast. Although if they spend it on this counter spell, that's not too bad for me. So I'll go ahead and make them burn it if they want to stick it. Yep. There it is. And so it will stay. It'll pretty much stay around the entire time, but it's going to be on jump duty. And I do get a Delver. So let's go ahead and swing in. Hit for one. 
play the Delver, and let's go ahead, pass turn. Cycle the Secluded Step, Core Sky Fisher. Uh, yeah, bounce back the Prism, and out comes the Prism. Choose not to swing in, and it comes back to us. What do we reveal? A Soul Reap. Yes, I think I will flip the Delver, and they could have a red Elemental Blast in hand, but that does absolutely nothing against the Soul Reap. So let's go ahead, get rid of that Sky Fisher now, and make a full swing. Yep, chump the Gurmag, and they take four. Red Elemental Blasts are really good, but we are also running black. Five cards in hand, what could they have? They swing in. That is very odd. Makes me think they have a Prismatic Strands. They're not sure if they want to. They're thinking about it. Okay, I have no responses. Really? Okiba? Okay. Uh, well, that is definitely something I want to Echoing Decay. So we will kill the Okiba gang, and hopefully we'll draw a Counterspell next turn. That would be great. And they draw, or they play the Golden Egg. So they draw a card, and I will go ahead and dispel that Lightning Bolt. I do want my Aberration to stay around. Thank you. We draw another Delver. So attack with everything. They are down to four, and let's put down that Delver, and we win. So now that we're on the draw, does that change anything? They seem to be almost Mardu, splashing black for things like Okiba Gang. Does that change anything? I don't think it does. So yeah, no changes. Run it back. Um, As tempting as this hand is, I don't want to fall into the trap of... Oh, I have cantrips in one land, so I think I will mull this. Two Gurmags. Yeah, this hand could be really good. It could be really good. It could also auto-lose me the game, but... Oh, man, do I keep this, though? Do I fall into the trap? I don't think I do. I think I'll fall into this trap, though. I am on the draw. It's a bit better as far as card draw goes, and I think I will bottom the... Stormbound Geist for now. They gain a life. We draw a Delver, so let's just fetch now for an island. Pass the turn. If we do not draw a land next turn, I think... Okay, we do. Good. I can play two Delvers then. Both the Delvers. Feels pretty good. Pass turn. And they bolt one. That's okay. Not much we can do about that. They swing in. We'll take it. And what do we reveal? Agrabolas, nope. I'll swing in for one, but I don't think I play the Agrabolas here. I will go ahead at their end step, opt, or thought scour. It looks like they are stuck on one land, so... Oh, never mind. So if they try to bolt or red elemental blast or anything, then we can go ahead and dispel that. And we will dispel. And let's opt island i do kind of want a swamp or a fetch land but i i guess we'll keep an island it's still a land and uh comes back to us we reveal a stormbound geist uh, i don't think we will reveal that although i think i will play it though because that's a really good card so their core sky fishers become a lot weaker they can't directly remove it. They have to spend a couple cards. Unless, of course, they have a journey to nowhere. Hey, look at that. I must be psychic. They swing in for one. We go down to 17. What do we reveal? An evolving wild. Well, it's not a flip, but it does mean we do get some black mana. So let's swing in for one. And I think I will play the Augur Bolas. And let's get a counter spell. Put them back on any order. And I will go ahead... Evolving Wilds and Thought Scour on their end step. Core Sky Fisher. Can't do anything about that. And they bounce back with Raven Inspector. Okay. I am really hoping for a Delver flip this turn. We do get it. Yes. So now I will go ahead and swing in with the core uh swing in with the apparition. If they choose to block with the core sky fisher, that is great. It means we get to Echoing Decay, kill their score. <laughs> core Sky Fisher. And we get a cube up counter spell for their turn. Please block. Yes. So Sky Fisher goes away and we have counter spell backup. And if they choose not to do anything worth 
Counterspelling, then we do have the illumination as well. Here's another one. Let's get rid of that. I don't want that. I will counter that. Comes back to us and we have an island. So if they don't do anything, then we do have the illumination. Draw us a couple cards and swing in for four. Yeah, let's just pass it. Out comes the Thraben Inspector. That is perfectly fine. And let's go ahead and draw a couple cards. And a Stormbound Geist and a Gurmag. So we're going to have a good turn. Two Gurmags. Can't quite cast them, but still good. Let's swing in. So they go down to 10. And I think this is definitely worth casting both the Stormbound and the Gurmag. It leaves herself a little open, but they're stuck at two lands. So let's just go ahead. Both of them down. And all right, and we win. So unfortunately, our opponent was stuck at two lands. Game might have gone a little differently if they got more, but it does happen, and we ended up winning. All right, so we're into our next game here, and we won the dice roll. We always like to see that. And another one land hand. I swear I put 20 lands in this deck. I don't think I can keep this, though. I think I have to mull down, unfortunately. And uh, this is not better. Where are my lands? Do I keep this anyway? I might be forced to keep this. I don't want to go down to five. And I have Thought Scour. I have a couple draw steps. Hopefully, I will get something. And if I end up drawing more lands, then this is a really good hand. So I'll risk it. I will bottom the mana leak. I'm not a huge fan of this hand, though. Looks like our opponent also mulls to six. Evolving Wilds, past turn. I don't want to crack the Evolving Wilds on the first turn of the first game, because depending on our opponent's deck, they might have a couple plays. So Elvish Mystic, this could be Elves or Wall Combo. And let's just go ahead and crack for an island. And we draw another island, so that's really good. Uh, let's go ahead and Delver, the sooner we get that flipped and swinging in the better and then at our end step we can thought scour ourselves okay this is elves so they have a lot of mana next turn i am hoping that we get some kill spells that'd be nice uh let's go ahead and thought scour ourselves and we get another island so all blue and a mana leak so yes we will reveal that we will play the island, and as far as our opponent knows, we're just blue. They don't know what color we have splashed for, and they cannot block, so I will pass the turn. If they play anything else to get more mana, then I think I just have to let that through. It's any of their finishers that would make me worried. Lead the Stampede, I think I do want to counter that, actually. Reduce the number of cards in their hand. If they have another one, okay, yeah. Two lead the Stampedes in hand, that's pretty good. Looks like they get Birchlore Rangers, and that's it. So there they are. They get in for one. As long as they don't get the Elves that pump damage, that's the only thing I'm concerned about. We get another counter spell. Not a huge fan of the cards we've drawn, but at least it is something to interact. Tyrion Ranger, that's fine. Right now they have a lot of mana, but nothing else. Yeah, that's what I'm going to counter. And they have no cards left in hand, so... Oh, okay, so they go ahead and concede. And uh, so that's really good. We were running out of resources, so that's really good for us. So what do we bring in? The excludes, I think, are pretty good. Uh, we definitely want to take out the mana leaks. They are going to be a dead draw in this matchup. Although, honestly, there's not much that we bring in. Yeah, there really is nothing that we can bring in to replace those mana leaks, so we might just want to keep one. Yeah, I'll bring one mana leak and just hope we don't hit it. There's not much else that we draw here. I mean, we've got a good amount of removal, counterspell. Hopefully we draw a good opening hand, especially since we're on the draw, we're going to need it. Hmm, this isn't horrible. I'll keep this. I can cycle the illuminations, and they have a Viridian Longbow. Okay. Ping off those Delvers, I guess. Uh, nope, I will do that at their end step. Although we do get a Doom Blade, which is very nice. So there's the Priest of Titania. To another Gurmag. Okay, so hopefully we can uh, fill our graveyard here soon. Do I play the Delver? I think I do. This might be one of my only opportunities. And if they kill it, then it goes into the graveyard and I can get a Gurmag Angler out sooner. So not ideal, but also not horrible. So they're deciding whether or not to equip the bow now and kill off the Delver or to actually play cards. 
So they are choosing to play cards, which is horrible. I don't want them to. All right, they've been hovering at three mana. Okay, they choose to equip. I think it is worth casting the Doomblade on the Elvish Vanguard. It slows them down a lot and gets rid of one of their finishers. So let's go ahead and reveal that we are in fact running black. Was it last game that we were stuck on just blue? I don't remember. Anyway, comes back to us. And what do we reveal? Do we flip? Please flip. Ah, it's a land. We do not flip. And is it worth playing? I think I'll just go ahead and play the Evolving Wilds and then Doomblade the Vanguard now. Swing in, and I, I'll just go ahead and tap and crack for another swamp now. Easier on me. And let's see what you got. That's a lot of lands for an elf deck. And they play spider silk armor, so that's actually pretty good. Although, we will be casting a Gurmag next turn, so. Oh, another Priest of Titania. We reveal another island, so nope, don't flip yet. I think I do just want to go ahead and cast the Gurmag Angler. It starts putting them on a clock, and it gives me a huge threat down, so let's go ahead and pass. And that way, even if uh, they kill my Delver, I still have something on the battlefield. And then at their end step, I will cycle the Illumination. Will they equip the Longbow? I mean, they pretty much have to. They only have two cards in hand, unless they have something else they want to do. So they have the Huntmaster, and with only one card left in hand, is it an Elf? Do they get more Elves? and a Kyrion Ranger. So they do get a, a token. Uh, let's go ahead and cycle now. They don't have anything left in hand. And, uh, ooh, another land. Okay, please let us not get flooded. That would be horrible. Looks like our Delver lives another turn. Oh, nope, nope. They're gonna untap it with the Kyrion Ranger. Yep, there they go. And bye, Delver. Goodbye. If I tap out, I can play the second Gurmag, which might be worth it. Oh man, another land. Yikes, this is not good. All right, let's just swing in with the Gurmag. See how they react to it. No blocks. And I think it is worth it to cast the second Gurmag. Just to have a lot of power on the board. And then next turn I will cast Augur. Hopefully I will hit something. If I draw any more lands than this, it might just be game over. Uh-oh, I do not want to see a winding way. Looks like they hit... Two Findhorn Elves and a Timber Watch. So they're going to get a lot of tokens and start running over the battlefield. I want an Echoing Decay. So, yep, here comes the Elves. More Elves. More Elves. Oh, what? Uh, what were we going to draw? A third Gurmag. And then with the Augur, we would have looked at a Delver Island Terramorphic. We were not going to win that one. So I don't know what they were doing. Okay. So, ooh, good luck. Have fun. You too. Uh, we won the die roll. We would like to go first. And two lands. We have an opt. I think I will keep this. This looks to be decent. I would like more lands, but I can opt into them. So island, pass turn. And they play in Evolving Wilds. Let's go ahead and opt now. Island, I will put that. I want more lands. Uh, okay, maybe not, you know, several lands in a row, but I will play the Evolving Wilds and pass turn. I'll crack it at their end step. So what color what was one of the colors they're playing? Blue. So this might be the mirror match. So they play an island. Yeah, this might be the mirror match. We will see. So we have a Gurmag. I always like to see that. Let's go ahead and try to play the Augur Bolas. If they want to counter it, then that's fine. Okay, so they mana leak. Can't pay that. And we just pass. So no, they are playing Is It. No Snowlands though, so it's not Scred. Is it Blitz maybe? If it's Is It Blitz, then they tend to go a little lighter on counter spells. Play another Island. Although they have six cards in hand and all their mana available. So let's try for... Hmm. Should I try for a Gurmag? You know, I have a Doomblade. I have a soul manipulation. Let's try it. Let's put pressure, make, make them use their counter spells, and a mana leak. So, cannot pay that. And they just play a land and pass it back. So, all right. I guess we'll pass it back to them with the Thought Scour Goblin Wizardry. Oh, so that's what they're doing. Yeah, no, we're not. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't like that. I've seen the I've run into this deck once before, I think. 
So at their end step, let's go ahead and mine scour ourselves. So end up milling away a Gurmag Angler. Might want to grab that, but we do get an Evolving Wild, so... And another Thought Scour. Let's play the Evolving Wilds. We'll crack it now for a Swamp. And then I don't think I want to... I want to keep the Gurmag Anglers in the graveyard. I don't want to exile them away. Another Goblin Wizardry. I will hopefully draw into a Counterspell. Ooh, perfect. That is exactly what we wanted to see. And that's it. Pieces of the puzzle. Okay. They grab Goblin Wizardry and Lightning Bolt. So actually Echoing Decay is perfect for their Wizardry. I have more than enough cards in their graveyard now. Or in my graveyard. So let's cast the Gurmag. Careful to dodge around the Gurmag. And we will go ahead and pass. And at their end step, I will go ahead and Soul Manipulation attempt to bring back the Gurmag Angler. And then the Echoing Decay is going to be great. Brainstorm, that's fine. Probably digging for a land. If they don't find it, they can't cast Goblin Wizardry. And let's attempt to return. And they have another Mana Leak. Dang, they have drawn all of them. So I guess not, but that's fine. I have a Counterspell, Echoing Decay, and Doom Blade. So we're good to go for now. And this puts them on a four turn clock. So let's keep going. And they do nothing. Pass it back. Another Doom Blade. So we can keep the battlefield clear. That is not an issue. I am tempted to let this through and then use the Echoing Decay. I might want to save the Counterspell for something else. So I think I will let this through and then use the Echoing Decay. Pass turn. And that is three of their Goblin Wizardries out of their deck. So they have to have something else in there. I assume they're running four. So they finally find another land, and we get a Delver, which is great. Swing in with the Gurmag, and we will throw out the Delver. They attempt a Counterspell. I think I will throw out a Counterspell of my own. We have two Doom Blades, so if they try to put anything down, I... All right, and uh, two cards for two. That's okay. If they put anything down on the battlefield, I can easily get rid of it. Oh, okay, so they actually, yeah, it's five damage to the Delver. Uh, yeah, can't do much about that. Pieces of the puzzle, Ponder. So Hieroglyphic Illumination would be great. Agrobolos would also be really good. Opt, okay, that's not too bad. Mana Leak, uh, that is tempting to actually keep, but I just want threats to close out the game. Although I don't think I can afford to not have at least some type of counter spell. So I think I do have to keep it for now. Postpone digging for a threat for one turn. Because if they manage to find their last Goblin Wizardry, spending two Doom Blades to kill off two tokens feels really bad. And I'm sure they're running other threats other than the Goblin Wizards. At least they better be running more threats. Looks like they're just going to pass it back to us, and we cry. Uh, we have a Terramorphic Expanse. That's not great. And we'll just pass it back. We'll search for a land. Hopefully, we won't hit any more. Looks like we have one more Gurmag, uh, three more Delvers in the deck. So we have lots of threats. I'm just hoping we hit them. And pieces of the puzzle. Looks like they find their Goblin Wizardry. Yeah, they get banners raised and Goblin Wizardry. Uh, let's go ahead. Sacrifice. Dig an island out, that way we don't draw an island. And come on, give me something good. Really? All right, let's play an island and pass back. We're kind of running out of gas. Not hitting any card draw whatsoever. So they play the Goblin Wizardry. Uh, Mana Leak is not going to be enough for that. And I think I want to go ahead and save the Doom Blades on their turn when they attempt to pump them up a lot. Illumination. Okay, that's good. I will do that uh, on their end step. And looks like they are going to swing in. So banners raised, two banners raised, a lightning bolt. Okay, let's move the stack out of the way because I've got... Uh, where do I even put this? I wonder if they have more. I want them to burn everything out of their hand. And let's go ahead, doom blade one of them. And they dispel. Let's try to Doomblade another one. And they have a counter spell. Okay. So this is going to hurt. Is this lethal? This might be lethal. No, I'm going to be at one life. 
Oh my god, I had mana leak. I'm an idiot. I completely forgot I had mana leak. That's the whole reason I took it. No, uh, okay. Uh, I'm a little stupid. I could have been at such a higher life total. I'll just pretend that I don't have it now. Ooh, oh no. I'm at one, whatever will I do? Okay, let's go ahead and cycle the illumination. If we draw an Echoing Decay, then we can still very much win a second mana leak. Oh no. Suffocating Fumes, that is perfect. Uh, they have three cards in their hand. I'm just gonna cast this now and pass the turn. Oh man, I am kicking myself so hard. I could have been at such a higher life total. This is a lot of mana they're tapping. Thunderous Wrath. This time, I will remember the mana leak. What do I draw? An Augur. Okay, Augur's good. Please let me draw. A direct counter spell would be great. I don't like having a stack right there. I'll move it up. Uh, that's not horrible. And I guess I will just pass the turn. So they gain a life. End step. Let's hard cast this. We get a Doomblade and Evolving Wild. That's not really what I'm looking for. We do get a hard counter spell, which is great to see. Swing in for one damage. And uh, let's just crack this now. Looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands in our deck after this. So as one third of our deck, uh, that is fine. So they put Lightning Bolt into their hand. This is where, this is it. All right, it's countered. Oh, come on, another land? So let's just swing in. Okay, I've got, come on, dig out more lands. This might be, if they draw anything to, that deals damage, then target creature, yeah, can't do much about that. Lightning Bolt directly to face, yeah, that's game. Oh, man, it's that misplay I had. Look, that mana leak set and the rest, uh, I'm, uh, I'm kicking myself so hard. See, this is the bad thing about doing gameplay videos is then you make a big misplay like that and everyone gets to see how horrible of a magic player you are. So I think dispels are going to be great. I think I want to take out the three doom blades because it looks like legitimately the only creatures they have are the tokens from Goblin Wizardry. So Echoing Decay and Suffocating Fumes will most likely take care of them and Dispel will also take care of them on the stack. So great creature to bring in and I did not draw many of my threats at all well make those changes take it into the next game I would like to play first so I have a bunch of lands a dispel and a mana leak in the delver so I think I'll actually keep this turn one delver is pretty good and then I'll be able to thin my uh deck out of lands pretty efficiently so I can only hope that I draw good cards pass the turn and they get an evolving wilds what do we reveal? An Echoing Decay. So that is perfect. So we will swing in for three. And we will keep the Dispel up and play the Terramorphic Expanse as the only thing that will really take out the Aberration is like a Lightning Bolt or something. And we can easily Dispel that. Boiler works. So looks like they're just going to bounce the Island. I'll grab a Swamp here. And looks like it comes back to us. Oh, they have to discard. They discard a Mountain. Ooh, Thought Scour. I do like that. And I will play an island here that way I have both mana leak and dispel and I will swing in if I don't need both of those then I will thought scour at their end step and it looks like they are just passing through their turn end step I will thought scour and I get an auger bow loss perfect another land so I'm kind of hoping I grab a Gurmag angler that'd be great go ahead and swing in I think I will wait a turn to play auger or should I because if I play auger I will still have dispel and I can dispel one of their spells, although they're going up if they have assuming they have a land, they're going up to four mana and they're going to want to hold on to Goblin Wizardry. So I think it's actually OK to play Augur here. I should have actually cracked the land first just to thin out my deck a little bit more. Yeah, I probably should have any order. Uh, Yikes. OK, pass the turn. Do they not have another land? Uh, let's go ahead crack uh let's find let's grab the second swamp and they have to discard oh okay and uh they go ahead and concede looks like they were not having uh the best luck as far as draws go i don't know why they would discard the mountain then because that deck really wants to get to four lands i think we just run it back so three fetch lands although we have an auger mana leak counterspell dispel 
will be able to stop pretty much everything they're doing and we're on the draw so i will keep that they play an evolving wilds there is an echoing decay perfect you love to see it there's our evolving wilds i like their art better and uh so it looks like they're just gonna play land and pass let's grab an island oh look there's another island uh we will play another evolving wilds though and pass the turn so they play another land pass it back to us uh before they do though i will grab a swamp and so there is a counter spell i think this time i will play the island play the augur bolas and hold up the dispel oh if they want to counter that that's fine okay I'm not too torn up about that. I mean, it kind of stinks, but it's not one of our bigger threats, and we already have two counter spells and a dispel, so we aren't missing that much. Uh, they do not play a fourth lands, though, so it looks like they are struggling a little bit. And there's our last swamp, but I think we do want to put down the Terramorphic Expanse, and uh, not much else we can do. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in and watching this uh, very exciting gameplay. I am very glad that you are here. Do I want to let them ponder for a land? Uh, let's crack our fetch, because why not? And I'm actually kind of tempted to attempt to counterspell this, and if it gets a mana leak out of them, that might be good. Uh, or I could just mana leak, so I think I will mana leak this. Yeah, because I don't want them hitting a land drop, and it will slow them down considerably. Is that another? Okay, well, we'll keep uh, playing these and thinning out the deck. There is nothing we can do. They get the land. They are obviously going to try to uh, do the wizardry shenanigans. Another land. Can we just not? All right, play the land. Uh, this way we can dispel, counterspell. Obviously, I will be dispelling that. We don't want that and looks like they're just going to be passing back to us we get a soul manipulation uh that's not the best considering we don't have any creatures in our graveyard so i guess we'll just pass back to them goblin wizardry uh i think i'll keep my counter spells and i will just echoing decay this because there is literally nothing else i'm going to be using echoing decay for and uh, i guess it's just going to come back to us and uh a land no how did we get eight lands in the top 20 brainstorm that's fine pass it to them so they find another land and pass it back to us man this is a really boring game okay so we get the illumination i will be able to draw cards and uh another brainstorm okay that's fine i actually have so many lands that i will be able to cast counterspell counterspell and still have enough for the illumination so yeah let's go ahead and cast the illumination so the attempt to red elemental blast is this worth a counter spell because they could have another one of these and then that's really bad if they counter because then i'm only down to one counter spell i think i will counter spell this just because i really want to draw more or is it mm, mm, i don't know i think this is worth uh a counter spell so i will attempt a counter spell and then if they have mana leak then okay uh is it worth my last counter spell actually let's try it let, let, we're we're all in we're all in on this oh they have another one okay so we do get blown out a little there it's not horrible though because we do oh sweet delver and it empties their hands they only have counter spells don't they all right well we have one card left in hand it is a soul manipulation and uh i will actually i probably should have casted it to grab it back and play it again although they only have two cards left in hand let's grab yeah i think it's worth it to grab delver or is it or do i need the uh auger bolas i might actually want auger i get a thought scour that's not bad so there's the auger it actually resolves and looks like we get an opt and rest go back so let's opt thought scour uh i guess we'll put on top and we will pass turn and if they try to cast anything then i can thought scour and hopefully find a counter spell yeah we still have plenty of counter spells in the deck or i can just go ahead and draw some at their end step i don't want lands thank you there's a dispel so that's that's good and another auger so i will take that so we push them back towards their starting life total i will go ahead and crack the terramorphic expanse to grab yet another land and play the auger 
This person should really think about putting uh, augers in their deck. If they're running this many spells, then... Oh, come on, really? It feels really bad to be putting threats on the bottom, but uh, I guess there's not much else I can do at the moment. Uh, looks like they're just passing back. They have three cards in hand. Not exactly sure what they are. We draw a land. We've hit so many lands. And uh, swing in for two, pass turn. Here's the wizardry. Uh, I will attempt a dispel, although they probably do have counterspell backup. Nope. Sweet. How many wizardries? That is three of them gone. Please, not another land. Please. It's a delver. We'll swing in for two more. I have no idea what they could have in their hand. I'm thinking it's bolts or flame slash, I think it's called. Yep, there's a bolt. A uh, Gurmag Angler would be great right now. Uh, I have none. I ended up milling none in the graveyard, so there's a very good chance that I do run into one eventually. So there's the Illumination. I will attack and pass turn. I will do this at their end step. They have one card in hand and I will attempt to cast. Sweet. So we get two really good cards, and uh, finally, there's the Gurmag Angler. I will swing in two, and then let's cast the Gurmag and pass the turn. So it looks like they are passing it back to us. I don't know what they have in their hand. It could be just lands. Or they attempt to Lightning Bolt that. Let's go ahead and opt. Definitely put the island on the bottom. Uh, I will Thought Scour myself, and we draw a second Gurmag, so... Uh, I guess they will. I'm assuming they have another lightning bolt or flame slash or something. Yep, two bolts. So uh, that's not bad because now they have zero cards in hand. So I don't mind that at all. And we get a suffocating fumes. Let's go ahead, swing in for two more and cast the Gurmag and pass the turn. I might cycle away the suffocating fumes, but I think I'll keep it just in case. Because the way we lose this is through them actually resolving a goblin wizardry. So, ooh, I'm actually in the red now. I need to stop talking and start going. So, next turn is lethal. Last turn. Oh boy. What do they have? Pieces of the puzzle. You got it. Mana leak is kind of a dead card at this point. And this is most likely a thunderous wrath. Yep. Uh, although now mana leak is not a dead card. And they are typing GG. We want, wow, oh man, that game was a slog. And those are all the games we're playing for today. We actually managed to win all three of them and the really quick one at the beginning there. But as you can see, the deck still works very well. All we have to do is just stick a couple of threats and protect them throughout the game and people run out of resources. Gurmag itself is just such a good finisher. It's one of the biggest bodies in Popper, and it's pretty hard to kill unless you have a direct kill spell. As far as upgrades, definitely the cantrips. Kind of felt that a little bit with the ops. They weren't exactly optimal. <laughs> And me. And uh, the Thought Scours, I actually do like the Thought Scours to rush out the Gurmag Anglers. That felt really good. Although I'm not sure, I'm still not sure why people play Snowlands over the regular basics. It might just be to flex that they're not playing Popper for budget reasons, but I don't know. I still don't really get it. There's probably someone smarter than myself who gets it, although it might just be uh, a relic left over from the Astrolabe era. And then Snuff Out, of course, is just just a better doom blade snuff out is a great card the only thing that i am concerned about is my lack of edict effects so maybe find some room in there as the vogels matchup can be kind of difficult if we don't have early counter spells to counter their enchantments or the creatures themselves or you can just accept that one matchup isn't going to be super good for us either way the deck still works really well if you want an introduction to blue black delver in general this is a great place to start and as you can see we don't need to sp be spending a lot of money on cantrips and enhanced kill spells to still take some people down but anyways I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I really do appreciate it. But now, if you'll excuse me, I'm about to stop people doing whatever they're doing and feed them to my giant fish. Bye!